All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here, and I have the Spigen Ultra Hybrid Matte Black case here for the Samsung Galaxy S22. I bought this on Amazon for $15.99 with Prime Shipping. If you do want to buy this for any of the S22, so the S22 Plus or Ultra, I will link them down in the description. This is a dummy unit that case companies use to use when they are making cases. And so for this, I'm gonna be using this. And it's really to help y'all with your purchase decision before you purchase your phone or get your phone in the mail like I'm going to be in about a week and a half, two weeks. So hopefully this will help uh, your purchase decision on buying the case that you really want instead of just looking at pictures on Amazon. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out. So let's look at the packaging real quick picture of the Spigen logo there, a picture of the matte black bumpers and corners and everything with that clear back. Now, ultra hybrids have always been one of my favorite cases because I love putting skins on my phones and that back letting me show it off. Ultra hybrid there, it does have some film on it, which will take off, matte black. There is other colors as well, which is clear and then they're frosted black. I did order the frosted black, but it's not gonna get here till tomorrow. So I will do a review of that next and then boring stuff on the back if you want to fall asleep and read it. So let's go ahead and get this out. So here we go. Okay, so there it is. There is the Ultra Hybrid. So this is the film that they're talking about, the A and B. So let's go ahead and peel off this one first. So there we have it. And there's not much to talk about, obviously clear back. You have the um, TPU portions that come through here. There is the air cushion technology in the corners, which I don't know if the video will show it, but right here, I don't know if it will, you might be able to read it there. It says air cushion technology. And all that is is just little airbags and cushions in the corners that are gonna help if you drop your phone with the case on. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy on. Now, obviously you can tell this is a high gloss black back. So just pretend that it's almost the S22 with a skin on it, right? Because obviously with the uh, Phantom Black, it's more of a matte finish. Now let's go ahead and peel this off here. And let me kind of wipe it off. And there it is. It looks good, guys. Looks really, really good. So I'm trying not to get the reflection of me or my camera or my rigged up little bar there but there is the look as you can see like i said it is a clear back so that gloss black back of this model is showing very nicely through you can see the logo very nicely as well as the camera bumps go you can see that it is that uh, kind of matte black material that is going around and flips over here so you can kind of see it outline the case but there it has the pill shape cut out for the lenses. The lenses are nicely recessed in there. So you're definitely going to get some lens protection out of it. A very slight bump there as well. So we'll see the shakiness of it in just a sec. That's the look of the camera bump with a single cutout for your flash as well, which I gl I'm glad that they decided to do the single cutout separately instead of having like a loop around it. Uh, I prefer this look much better. And then as far as the sides go, it is that matte black material all around. There is no grooves or anything like that. The power buttons got some teeth in there, as you can see. The volume up and down buttons have a little bit of a separation in the middle. They are raised, which I am very grateful that they are raised because I know some of their newer cases have been like those flush buttons. Um, yeah, I'd rather have these. So as you can see here, you have a nice cutout for the charging port and the microphone and the speakers. And then going to the side here, as you can see, just the solid piece of case, nothing here, except for the Spigen branding right there. So very minimal. And then going to the top, single cutout for the mic up top. The front definitely has some screen protection. So as you can see, 360 protection all around very even lips all around the screen so very very nicely done and then at the top here you can kind of see how the whoops there we go how you can see that the uh, speaker grill looks so it has that nice little clear minimal look here so you can kind of see the uh, speaker but then it's kind of covered over a little bit to help with the sound 
but there's the look of the case at the front. Flipping it over to the back, there we go. So it looks good, it looks really, really good. So now let's do the wobble test here. Unfortunately, this is a dummy unit, like I said at the beginning, so I can't do any charging test or anything like that, but at least I can do this for y'all. There is no shake face down, and let's see how it is back down. Actually, no shake at all either. So very, very non-wobbly, if you care to know that. So there is the look right there. It looks good, guys. It looks really good. Um, now, I can't do the clicky button test that I usually do, but as we all know, guys, these buttons have always been very tactile and responsive. It is Qi Wireless Charging compatible, like I said already, so definitely uh, going to get some uh, decent charging uh, abilities there if you have a charging pad of some sort. And obviously, it's clear, so yeah. Now, as far as the back goes, um, it's usually anti-fingerprint, but it's not anti-smudge. So if I kind of rub my fingers all over it, you're gonna to start to see some smudges a little bit, maybe with the reflection of the lighting here. Um, so it's definitely not gonna be anti-smudge resistant, so the oils from your fingers and stuff are gonna get on it. But as far as fingerprints go, I'm not noticing any of that, but a quick little wipe down on your shirt kind of eliminates it. So there we have it, man. That is a good looking case. So hit that like button if you like the video. If you love it, please subscribe, ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.